Hi, I'm Stefano W. Pasquini and this is Special Art Life Techniques. Today I want to show you something which I've uh, set over a month ago. I put the, uh, a negative against a piece of newspaper print, and well, newsprint paper, and, um, and then I left it there for a month in order to see if I can actually get it uh, to um, print just through the light and through the darkening of the paper because uh, newsprint paper as you know gets yellow pretty fast so let's see if it worked this is what I did see as you can see it says 15th of mag means May and I'm gonna take it out there's a lot of sun even right now so and this is the negative that I left there that I've stuck with just sellotape it's a negative that shows two dogs uh, maybe I should have got and ouch it didn't work at all can't see anything at all can you Hmm. Maybe slightly, very slightly. No, you can't see it at all. Another thing I did, which should have worked a little better. Hold on, let me see. There it is. Uh, it's this. This is I've done way over a month ago. I think it was about, probably about two months ago. I've taken this ouch there we go this is uh, I've just cut out uh, a model from a um, fashion magazine and I've just sellotaped it there actually I put the the date it was the 3rd of May 2030 uh, 2020 and today is the 22nd of June uh, 2020 and as you can see it came out pretty well this oh I have to be careful oh oh that's interesting to know that uh, the sellotape that you can see didn't change at all the complexion of the of the burnt paper so this is pretty much a burning process and I bet that the reason it didn't work with the other negative well, there it is it's probably because I didn't leave it long enough because as you can see the newspaper yeah has yellowed but not as much as the other one the other one came out very well it looks like a stencil but it's just made of light I also have to say that it probably wasn't a great idea to, um, to leave this negative in the direct sunlight for so long because as you can see this is, comes from the same roll uh, this has become kind of paler and yellower and the other one is still pretty dark so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna stick it on another piece of the newsprint using the same sticky tape they already had but I'm also going to to put this kind of uh, negative uh, next to it somewhere there mm, I guess not there's not much room yeah I guess I could leave it I could put it pretty much there and because um, this is not a real negative this is an ancient uh, kind of kind of uh, negative from the 70s that was made in a dark room uh, in the 70s and 80s they used to sell this type of um, 
it's, it's kind of a photographic paper, analog photographic paper of course, uh, that uh, used to be uh, useful in order to reprint, to do reprints in black and white. So this one shouldn't get ruined, um, I believe. Uh, so I'm going to make another copy of this and I also another thing that uh, you probably should know um, is that this type of work if I put it back in direct sunlight like if I leave it up here uh, it will probably get ruined within uh, within a few weeks so it's probably best to keep it not in direct sunlight but uh, yeah pretty much this is a photograph made out of the yellowing of a newsprint uh, paper. The newsprint I've used is, is this one, Utrecht, the newsprint, uh, and I bought it in the US a few years ago. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Stefano W. Pasquini and this is Special Art Life Techniques.